Hi there, my name is Isaac Oster and in this tutorial I'm going to talk about rendering in ZBrush. So here I have just a, uh, a lion model that I did as a demonstration uh, for one of my classes and if I turn the wireframe on you can see the poly spheres that it came from. This has not been retopologized and was poly painted in the methods using the methods described in the previous chapter. And when I do that I'm going to get this new menu item here along the top of the UI. And if I want to save the current camera position, all I have to do is click on the timeline. So you can click the BPR button here, and if that's not available, just make sure, or visible, you just make sure that you expand your BPR render pass section here. You can see how much lighter the shadows are now. I can also very easily blur them. So that's going to be here in the blur section. So I'll just make this 10. So you can see they've got now a softer edge. And what you can also see, because I shrunk my image size, my document size, now my workspace is actually smaller than my canvas. So now the images that I actually produce are going to be 2,500 pixels by 1,500 pixels. So this is how you can control your, your final image size. So by default, this little orange dot here represents kind of where the light is, and it doesn't actually exist. There's no there's no light that you can that you can tweak like in Max or Maya, but you can imagine it is right here and it is lighting the surface from that position. The standard materials act like your average blend shader in Maya or Max, whereas if you 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 assign it and then you change the light position and the surface updates accordingly. This side of the graph represents the surfaces that are pointing directly at the light and this side of the graph represents the surfaces that are perpendicular to the light. So this is the fall off. If you want a little bit more uh, a, a quicker fall off you can just decrease this and it'll get from light to dark a little bit faster. So all of these are individual renders out of ZBrush using different lighting and different matte caps as well as different uh, materials. So I think Sketch Toy Plastic and Toy Plastic, if they're not materials, they're Mac caps, but they're definitely included uh, in uh, the default materials that come with ZBrush. And Sketch Toy Plastic, let me zoom in just a little bit. This is kind of gonna bring out these elements here, the, the uh, grooves and crevices. Anyway, hopefully this has been useful, uh, a nice introduction to how, um, how to do renders and, and how to composite the resulting uh, images in Photoshop. So thank you very much.